Being young in football is incredibly difficult. We've already heard all of the tales of you will get a youth squad that has 100 players and then 100 of those players will get into an academy and then, no, one of those players, sorry, 1% of them will get into an academy. That'd be far too easy. And then 1% of those will get into the first team of a football squad. So one in 10,000 people that want to play football professionally might get there at some point. And then once you're in football, there's further difficulties as well. So, for example, when clubs buy a new player, someone has to step aside. Someone has to lose out on minutes. Someone has to miss out on the development that they need. And sometimes, to use a phrase from the world of writing, you have to kill your darlings. The people that you are big fans of won't get necessarily what they want, won't get necessarily what they need. And it leads to the Whites potentially losing a young star very very soon. This is very short term as well, not long run, but as I mentioned a moment ago, remember that Questions Corner is open. I'm recording this whilst I'm live. If you see me live, hop along. That'd be fantastic. Say hello. Um, but we'll be answering those at the end of the video. The biggest question I imagine is going to be who exactly is likely to go. And he's someone that isn't even named by his actual name by Leeds United fans. It's Joffy. Joe Gelhart who, when I mentioned Joffy to someone the other weekend without knowing that they weren't part of like Leeds united -y culture, I was like, oh, this is a lot of backstory. We're going to have to talk about a player's mum's Twitter account. But yeah, it's looking like Joe Gellhart signed from Wigan in, I want to say 2020, 2021, for a million pounds because Wigan were in deep, deep problems. We helped to solve those problems by signing Joe Gellhart, and then he popped up from time to time with decent performances, including fantastic goal and assist at the end of that Jesse Marsh season that kept us up. And it's looking like he's not going to stay because his minutes are looking dire. He's not going to get much football. And I'll be honest, when I was writing this down, I'm surprised that he's still here. When everyone has gone through their squad breakdowns ahead of this season, they've effectively gone, OK, so up front, we've got to think, who've we got in the 10? We've got Piri, we've got Aronson, who've we got in the wings? Ramazani, Solomon, James, Nonto up top, Bamford. Joseph, Piru can do a job there. Is there anyone else? And everyone will effectively go, not that I can think of, because Joffy has slid into the background. He's been a bit of a victim of not being able to get those minutes that he wants, that he needs, that some would argue he deserves. And I'm surprised that he stuck with us throughout that summer window, especially when you consider that there was interest in him in January. But if you look at more recent interest, you can see why there maybe wasn't anything going on. In terms of recent interest, West Brom were interested in January. Obviously, we didn't want to let him go to West Brom because you don't want to strengthen your rivals. But not much else has leaked and nothing leaked throughout this summer, particularly, to say that there were clubs with an interest in signing Joe Gelhart from us. And that is where I think part of the issue is. It shows a very, very weird problem that we've got. So clubs won't have necessarily had an interest in Joe Gelhart because he didn't really have the minutes to prove himself. He would occasionally pop up here and there and have a little bit of a cameo at points. And in fact, I'm going to bring up his uh, data and numbers and stuff on FB ref just to sort of see what the underlying stuff was. But I feel like he didn't really do much last season at all, which is why you won't get many clubs going, oh, we'll sign him because they don't know what his level is. It's really hard to get a player when you don't know if they're like upper championship, lower championship decent in on the under 21 side it's very very difficult to sort of tell um just quick need search for gelhart who for some reason isn't popping up on an autofill on fb ref which is arguably not too fun um but he didn't get any goals or assists last season the season before that two assists but nothing beyond it and the past two seasons combined he's sat on a little bit more than 400 minutes which is not good for a player that wants to develop. And a lot of people were hankering for him to get more minutes and show up more and become a pivotal part of the team. But you can't really risk giving him minutes because you don't really want to risk promotion. Like a lot of people said that we should have maybe rotated Cresswell in earlier last season. But when he played, we lost games quite badly. He started against Southampton and we got hammered. This is the first Southampton game, by the way. And it's a question of, okay, we need promotion. 
So are we able to risk dropping points in these matches just to give someone minutes that we think might be deserving of them? I don't know. It's really, really hard to tell. And I think it's very, very unfortunate for him because we've always been in a place of let's strengthen, let's look for what we can get next. And we did. We signed last season Joel Piru. We've got Brendan Aronson back this year. We've gotten Ramazani and Solomon out on the wings. And those are all positions that Joe Gelhart can play. And as a result of that, because we've been strengthening around him, he's not managed to force his way into a team, which is, I imagine, scary for Gelhart because he doesn't know what his future is going to look like. The last question I've got down is, what is Joe Gelhart's fate? And it feels like his fate so far has been to be solid enough, but not break in, because he, I love the guy. Hasn't shown the raw ability to get into this team above the people that are around him. And that's why I think, and I've seen reports that his agent is going to actively push for him to be able to leave in the winter. I think it's going to be borderline impossible for Gelhart to get many minutes at all this season. I would be surprised if he got more than two 90s worth of football if he stays the entire year because of the sheer ability that we've got around him. He might even see some under 21s minutes purely because of what we've got going on at the minute. And it's a bad place to be. And as I said, being young in football is incredibly difficult because it feels like Gelhart has fallen through the cracks. I think if, if he would have played a bit more last season or the season before, brilliant. He would have come on leaps and bounds, but he's not had that chance. And I feel like it might be a little bit much of a risk to give him that chance right now when we can't afford to drop points. We lost our heads when we drew nil-nil against West Brom. Now, imagine we're 1-0 down against West Brom and instead of an Aronson who brings you a lot of running, a lot of pressing, and this season a decent end product. Or instead of a Piru, who his finishing is incredible, a chance falls to Gelhart when we're 1-0 down and he doesn't put it away. And we've dropped points and we managed to not get promoted by the slimmest of margins. We can't take those risks. And I feel genuinely bad for Joe Gelhart but his fate seems to lay away from Leeds because I don't know if we can take those risks. But at the end of the day, that is just what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Even become a channel member, you'll get videos like this one comfortably ahead of when they come out to a wider degree. I'm recording this on Friday. I think it might be releasing on Sunday. I'm not 100% certain. But either way, hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, become a channel member. Comment down below what you're thinking, and I will see you later. But that will not be the case for the people that are on the stream, because the people that are on the stream get an extra added benefit, because I'm going to hop over to Questions Corner. But you know what? I'm going to do Questions Corner only for stream people this time. Ha ha ha, video people. This is why you should come to the stream, because it's a great time. It's a great vibe. Everyone in the stream, come and laugh at the video, folks. We win. No one in the stream is laughing at you right now, so I'm just I'm just going to give it a second. But as Danny said, like and subscribe. See you later.